Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our second contest of the evening. This is an amateur contest, falls at a catch weight of under 63 kilos. And a first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Callum Jones. Good lad, you got your box on? Good, open your hands up for me. Good, hold your arms out. Yes, yeah, 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 that way. Okay, good luck to you. We need to commission that into the blue corner, please. Yeah, we've got all sorted up there, come back down. And here's opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Darren Higgins. Okay, that's good. Say goodbye to your team now, please. Huh? Say goodbye to your team now. Okay, Vaughan, you'll run that way. Okay, get your Vaseline put on. You'll run that, that way. You can, go, you can go that way and up the steps. Nice one. Okay, good lad. You got your gun shooting. You got your box on. Good boy, open your hands for me. Open your hands. Open them up. Good lad, put your hands out here. Best luck to get into the red corner. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Telford. He's 26 years old. Stands 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighed in at 62 kilos. He fights out of combat athlete and has a mixed martial arts record of two contests, one win and one loss. Let's hear it for Callum Ajo! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 25 years old. Stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighed in at 63 kilos. He fights out of UTC and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Darren Ahigdi! This catchweight contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. Okay, Jen, set of the cage. Okay, you both know the rules, you both know what I expect, okay? Three three-minute rounds, amateur rules. No elbow strikes, no heel hooks, no neck cranks. Protect yourselves at all times, obey me at all times, yeah? Touch gloves, back to your corners. So here we go, Ben. Action all the way here at Fight UK as Callum Jones and Darren Higgins get ready to throw down. Catch weight about this one. That's 139 pounds. Higgins in the plain black bad boy shorts. Okay, first round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it on and come on. Against Callum Jones. Combat and exercise one on one. It's Jones who fires a nice head kick. Comes Beautiful and looks work. to close the distance.
both fighters jostling for position here. Higgins doing a good job, pulls his opponent against the cage. Looks to try and sweep down low, but Jones doing a great job defensively. Good knee. And we see Higgins there. Instructions coming from the corner. UFC fighter Vaughn Lee in his corner there from the UTC gym. So obviously a great level of experience for this guy from this gym at UTC and a great takedown as he looks to move to side control. I like the way the second he got the takedown, he was looking to pass Rob, looking to work straight away. That's right. Got good control of the legs. Good control, forcing his man against the side of the cage. But Jones doing a good job, tries to scramble his way up. But again, Higgins doing well. Pulls the feet out from underneath Jones. And now he'll be looking to posture up and land those strikes. And here come the punches. Beautiful little shot inside there to open things up. He's got his man crushed up against the cage, but it's basically a mount situation here, Rob. Half standing. Higgins sprawling well, but Jones able to find his feet. Great work. Jones will walk up the cage. Great composure there. We're dropping down for the takedown again. Looks like there's a little blood as well. Another takedown. Let's be honest, Rob. Higgins' game plan is quite clear from the outset. And it's to take his man up, take him down, and look to work from there. That's right. It's a very good game plan that's working for him at the moment. Doing well in keeping control. I think it's a Jones. game plan that lends. Excuse me. I think it's a game plan that lends, lends itself very well to these amateur rules, simply because the rounds are so short. And if you can get one or two takedowns and keep your man down, it takes up much a much bigger percentage of the round as it would in a pro round. That's right. Judge is looking on as well. Can see that he's actively moving, trying to dominate the fight, dominate the position. Jones firing shots to the body, but Higgins trying to work his way through. For the man on the bottom, Callum Jones, this is exhausting. Having someone like Higgins, who to be fair, once he's got the fight to the floor, has been working straight away. But once again, I say that, tries to get himself up to his feet, but Higgins has got the hands gripped and he's not letting him move anywhere. Bit of blood, it looks like, at the moment from the nose of, the nose of Jones, probably from one of those shots. Jones trying to keep hold of the head of Higgins, possibly looking to slip inside for a sneaky guillotine choke. The arm seems to be twisted and locked on the inside there. Very difficult to see exactly what's going on underneath from his position. UFC official Leon Roberts taking a very close look at the action. But the tale of this round has been Higgins' is wrestling and the fact that he's been able to negotiate the fight to where he wanted it to take Great place guys. and to use good control and good ground and pound when he's been at the top. Okay, second round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Green on it, come on. Do you think he'll stick to the game plan for this round? It's interesting to see. I mean, he's had a lot of success with it. I don't see why he deviate. I think more important for Jones, he throws a spinning kick over the top there. More important for Jones is he'll know what he has to avoid. He'll know the situations he'll need to stay out of. But that being said, Higgins has initiated a nice clinch. So an under on the left side. Off the cage, don't grab the cage. He's looking to swim that under through on the right if he can. He's got to be careful of the chin there. Jones firing up a knee. That's right, Jones seeming very agile with his legs. He's demonstrated with that high kick and then, of course, the spinning kick we just witnessed. Good knee inside the fire. Definitely in a nice turn. Like the fact that he turned his man round on the cage there. Higgins looking to use the overhook to turn himself round if he can, but Jones shown some very good control in this position. And let's be honest, Rob, this is what he needs to do in this round. He needs to take the fight. After having the fight dictated to him in the round before, he needs to take the fight to his opponent. That's that, right. But that being said, the underhooks have gone in from Higgins. He's got the hands gripped. And there's the takedown. It's good work by Higgins again. It's that double leg. Had to survive some tough spots in that clinch. Some knees coming up from a few angles there. You see Higgins able to isolate an, an arm there just to get a shot in. Sneaky left hand. Giving his opponent something else to think about. We can hear Higgins' corner. The UFC's own Vaughan Lee in there, telling him to posture up and to land those strikes. And now he's got his man flattened out and away from the corner. This is what he'll be looking to do. Right, uses his head for control very well there, tries to get the arms across to give him some room. But Jones, happy to keep his man in tight and close, not giving him the room to strike. He's got that half guard locked up, but Higgins will be looking to pull that leg out. There is room for him to extricate that leg if he can. Just pop it through, but he's... Happy and comfortable with landing strikes from here, and 
There's a lot of fighters there are over and we've seen a lot of fighters over the years in the fights that we've commentated. It's improved Lots guys, I'll stand you up, come on, do something, I'll stand you up. Very underrated position in a lot of respects. You can see he can okay, up. Break up. fighting a fo smart fight, I was just about to say, using his head to control Face the head me. of Jones. Face me. Keeping fight. him flat, trying to find a room to posture for that shot. Jones with a spinning kick that's blocked. But yeah, that was a very, very good bit of movement by Higgins. I mean, Higgins showing some very good all-round skills. Jones presumably from some kind of kickboxing background, as it says. There's a good shot coming in over the top, and now he's landed another one. Higgins looks to pour on the pressure as he postures up, and he's looking to land strikes. Jones pushes away using his feet. Last turn. Higgins needs to be careful with the up kick. Those up kicks are coming in ferociously. And a frantic end to what's That's been fine. a very good second round. Another great round between these two rounds. An evenly matched fight here. Okay, third and final. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Free landing, come on. But Higgins having that success at the end of the last round, you'll wonder, Rob, whether he'll want to keep it stood up, whether he'll want to come out and land those strikes as he did at the end of the last round, or will he stick with what's taken him thus far, and that's his dominant wrestling. Jones staying away this time, possibly looking to stay on the outside. Try and use some more strikes, try some more shots. It's going to look like he's setting up a big kick, so often we see it, fighters lurking on the outside there. Doesn't want to be in that close range, doesn't want to be clinched up. Higgins very aware that Jones has got power in his feet. He's using head movement to stay out of the way and then negotiate his man off to the corner to clinch. He's got him in his own corner there. Higgins drops down, gets the double up and down. Beautiful, took great instruction from his corner there. And he said, drop down and drop him here. And that's exactly what he did. Switched down in the clinch, got the double. Push his shots to the spine, please. That's fine. That's good work by Higgins again, moving to this dominant position where he's been able to control this fight throughout the past two rounds, possibly looking to look for a finish this time as Jones just chops away at the back of Higgins. And what we tend to see in the, uh, the amateur game, certainly, Rob, is with these shorter rounds, fighters don't need as many takedowns to win fights. One takedown, a good period of ground and pound, percentage-wise, equals much more of the round as it would under come a five-minute one. Come on, guys, just improve, I'll stand you up, come on. So fighters can come in there and know that maybe they're only two or three, uh, two or three takedowns away from getting the man where they want him to be and getting the victory. Well, let's be honest, Ben, from this position, he covers a few of the cri criteria in that he's aggressive, he's looking to finish the fight, he's in dominant control, he has ring control. So in the eyes of the judges, it does look particularly in favour of Higgins. Definitely. Dictating the pace, and like I said, Rob, importantly, he's dictating where the fight takes place. Jones is going to land some fire the bottom, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to really do a lot from there. Fight for Leon Roberts with a quick stand up. See an out process here between both these guys, but at the end of the fire, run these both fighters kind of nervously circling around the outside. Jones last tries 10, a couple James, of kicks. Surely Jones must know now he's got he's got to go for broke here, but as he says that Higgins rushes forward and ties his man up, drops down a double maybe to seal it, gets Time. the the ground just as the round ends. Some great game plan in there, Rob, for me. The last 10 seconds of that fight. Rushed forward, got the takedown. And I think realistically, the fight was won by Higgins in the first round, in that as soon as he took his man down, he knew he'd be able to take him down repeatedly. And that was how the fight played out eventually. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision. Score in this bout, 30-27, in favour of your winner. From the red corner, Darren Hattigan! Let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Callum Jones.